Hey, y'all, what it is? This is Deem, and I am your host, and this is By Any Means. There go to PayPal, at Deem By Any Means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign Deem By Any Means. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave a dollar, ten dollars, a hundred dollars. It's much, much, much appreciated. Raymond Maritala kind of got exposed last night. Y'all know what I do on my channel, man. I, I can't I got, I can't be biased even towards fighters that I really like. I'm one of the biggest Raymond Maritala fans out there. Y'all been hearing me on different channels, um, bigging up his name, saying, you know, he's a great up-and-coming fighter, which I still think that he is. Uh, I, I forget the guy's name last night, uh, uh, um, Anani. I think Anani, or if I can't, I can't even really pronounce his last name, but um, an African guy, and um, he was coming in to work last night. The guy was coming in to work. He was putting that pressure on, and Raymond Maritala showed me that he has a hard time with active fighters. He could do very good against fighters that's going to sit back where he could pick his spots, but somebody that's going to punch when he's punching, he showed that he can. He, his chin is vulnerable to... Um, to counters if you a good counter puncher Raymond Maritala he got to do better job as far as his head movement and I think I talked about this before about his head movement and things like that on his last fight because his last fight he was getting hit with similar punches but he just turned up the pressure when it was time in the second half of the fight but right now um what he did last night it went all 10 rounds. He won by decision, which I think that he, he he got the fight, but it was a very, very close fight. It was not was not nothing impressive. I was not impressed at all last night. I seen a lot of flaws in, in, in his box game. Like I said, as far as the counter punching, as far as a guy who throws multiple shots, as far as somebody who's um has a little bit of power with him, I somebody who having a little bit of power up a little bit of power with him um giving him a tough time and it's tough because like i said he has all the other talents to be a great fighter but when you just stand in there and you're there to be hit especially from active fighters or somebody who got a nice little footwork got a nice little bit of athletic athleticism it's gonna be a long night um Raymond Maritala might struggle against a guy like Keyshawn Davis or struggle against a, a, a Shakur Stevenson and a, um, Frank Martin because those things that I think that he's lacking, they excel in. Keyshawn Davis is going to throw while you throw. Frank Martin is going to try to throw when you throw. And a lot of, and the guy kept catching him with this looping right hand. I mean, this looping power right hand, and Raymond Maritala was just open for it all night. And that was just, like I said, the guy had enough power to sit up there and push Raymond Maritala back off, back off him. And he didn't really, and the other part that I didn't like is that he didn't switch up his game plan at all. Like, he stayed with the same game plan. There was no adjustments. Now, that got me questioning your IQ. Because you've seen that the guy was doubling it up and doubling it up, but he did nothing to adjust it. Now, did Raymond Maritala do a great job of attacking a body, um, sticking to his game plan, and, and still coming out with the victory? Yes, got to give him credit for that. But that's, what he did last night is not going to work against the upper echelon or the boxers at that division, which he's at. So I got to knock him down a little bit, man. Um, I'm not... Um, he made me feel how Tia Fimo made me feel with Jermaine Ortiz. The only difference is I think Tio lost that fight. Raymond, Mar Raymond Maritala definitely won this fight. But it was very close, though. You know, it was close. I might have had him edging out by, like, one round. And then it, his gas tank at the same time. And he, he didn't turn up the heat, man. And I know that the guy, I think, um, a Johnny, I think a Johnny is his name. Agzani is something like that. And um, he was really impressive. I, I, this was my first time seeing that guy fight, and um, he was doing this thing. He's not a world. He's a B class fighter, a C plus, a C. I say a C plus fighter, um, because a lot of things that he was lacking on, he's lacking in the same things that Raymond Maritala was lacking in. It's just that Raymond Maritala is a little more seasoned. Um, Raymond Maritala showed that he had a great chin last night. I give him that. The guy can take a punch, but. Against a Shakur Stevenson, you're gonna get you're gonna get um 
pick shot it all night long because Shakur is more athletic than this guy. Shakur had a better IQ than that guy. Shakur got better footwork. Same thing that goes for Frank Martin and Keyshawn Davis. And I think him and Keyshawn Davis might be a fight that probably will be next, to be honest. So um, Raymond Maritala just got to get back to the drawing board. But every fighter goes through this. But I think, it's see, the thing is, for me, it was his last two fights. Because his last fight he did very well. I think he won by stoppage. But um, the thing is, with Raymond Maritala, he did, he, those same problems was coming up in his last fight that he had. The guy was pick shot and he hitting him with looping punches, you know, punching in between shots. Raymond Maritala is there to be hit if you're going to be active. So I just feel as though he's going to really struggle with the upper echelon of the lightweights, the Keyshawn Davises, the Frank Martins, Javante Davis, uh, um, the Shakur Stevensons, the Lomachenkos, because the things that they are great at, he's there for them to do. And I don't think that he possesses enough on the offensive end from what I seen last night to counteract what they would be trying to do to him. So I think Raymond Maritala, I got to knock him down a peg, man, because I'm very consistent, man. No matter, I really do like Raymond Maritala. I really do like the guy. But when you show me two performances back to back and I'm not that impressed as I was of, of your prior two or three performances, it, it leaves me up to question because I feel like is that because you are stepping up in competition that is looking like that? Because that's two fights in a row. Even if you win, see, I'm not a guy. It, it, it's like, look, well, my Eagles wasn't doing that that well this year. Y'all know how it worked out for the Eagles. We was we started off 10-1. and one. Great. We started off great. But we wasn't looking good while winning. So just because you look good while winning, that doesn't mean when you get up against the upper echelon of the talent and the talent pool, because that's where he's headed, especially with another win on his belt. It just is what it is. That's where he's headed. You know, and I just know boxing enough that he got to get his footwork better. He got to get his defense better. He got to get his head movement better. He got to get comfortable with guys. He don't like aggressive fighters. He's an aggressive fighter, but he don't like other aggressive fighters back. And no boxer does. Let's get this straight. No boxer does, but certain boxers possess things that counteract an aggressive fighter that can keep an aggressive fighter at bay. And Raymond Maritala does have power. He does have um, great punch placement, great accuracy. Um, he works the body. He's a well-balanced boxer, well-balanced boxer. Um, I just think that he struggles from a lot of the same things that um, we'll say like a Issa Cruz struggles from. But I just think Issa Cruz is a little more polished than him. So it's a high guard is a little bit better. So certain shots, it's a cruise might have knocked this guy out last night because certain shots that Raymond was getting hit with that backed him up. Somebody like it's a cruise, even though he lacks in the same things that I think Raymond Maritala lacks in, he's just a little bit better at it. So you'll take about at least five to six of those big shots. It's a Cruz wouldn't get hit with, and he would continue to apply pressure and do what he does. Where I think Issa Cruz would have won this fight last night three rounds up, four rounds up. You understand what I'm saying in my head. So it's back to the drawing board. I think him and God, like him, him and um Edwin De La Santos, man, I think are are about I think Edwin De La Santos may be a little bit better than him, just strictly from the 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 the, the footwork. And, and the agileness. Raymond Maritala possesses a lot of things, but he's not that agile. And his head movement is not that well. And that can, can that can really come to bite you in the butt when you come to boxing the top guys because the accuracy is better. The punch placement is better. The combination punching is better. Raymond Maritala got to do a better job of being comfortable against guys who throw combinations. Because that guy last night, Azani, he was throwing so many combinations um, I seen that Raymond Maritala was uncomfortable. Now, the part that I liked is that he was resilient. He was very resilient. Raymond Maritala was very resilient last night. I like how he showed me heart because I know he thought it wasn't going to be this type of fight. So that part I am impressed with, that he he he, he dug down. He, he tied up his bootstraps, and he went in there and got the win. But I'm just talking about where I have him projected to go. 
he's not going to beat the Keyshawn Davises, the Frank Martins, the Shakur Stevensons, the um Javante Davis. Um, what's the other um the, the white boy? Um, is it Liam Wilson? Not Liam Wilson. Is it? It's a Liam. I forget the a white guy name. Is Wilson something? Um, he just had a great performance. Had a great performance doing this thing. The Navarrete's like like. Navarrete gonna come and put pressure on you. Is you is you gonna be able to do, deal with that? Because he 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 fight very similar to Navarrete. The difference is I know Navarrete is used to fighting this way. He he he. That's the type of fight he wants. Raymond Maritala was forced into this type of fight last night, and that's the difference. He wanted to go in there and pop shot, take his time. Um, do the do his Canelo Alvarez thing. The problem is Canelo at least get his head out the way. Canelo gonna at least have that high guard. Canelo gonna gonna at least have a little better footwork and know when to attack. See, if you're gonna fight that way, you gotta make the adjustments that make you better at what you're doing. So when he's throwing those heavy shots, you gotta get out the way, step back a little bit, bounce around. You gotta add things to your game. And Raymond Maritala, he has about a good three things that he needs to add to his game. Get better with aggressive fighters. Get better with his footwork. Get better with his head movement. If he doesn't, you're going to be you're going to be a, a top contender, but a George Cambosis area contender. Not nothing higher than that. Because once you go higher than that, the competition. Like if you he was fighting Lomachenko and Lomachenko would have kept switching on him and, 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 and moving side to side on him, he would have he would have definitely lost. So it shows me that you 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 you're gonna have to be able to deal with guys who are agile, got speed, got power, got athleticism, that can go in there that you can't just break them down. You gotta box them. And I think he's gonna have a trouble against the top boxers, just to be honest. So y'all already know what this is, man. Dean by any means. And I holler at y'all.